The Iron Man update has finally arrived in Fortnite Absolute Doom. We've been in Season 4 of Chapter 5 for about a month, and we've already seen some major changes to this game. But by far the biggest change in this particular update is the brand new Heroes vs. Villains limited time game mode, officially called the Day of Doom. And this LTM pits two teams of 16 against each other utilizing a small selection of Marvel powers. Though we do have information that all of the Marvel powers have been added to the game files, so expect to see those in the future. Now in this LTM, if you spawn on the side of Doom, you will be tasked with collecting six arcane artifacts, which will disable the enemy team's respawning. And if you're an Avenger, you will be tasked with defeating all of Doom's minions before that happens to achieve a victory. Royale. Now this game mode is only here until the October 4th update and it does feature a simple set of challenges. So definitely hop on this and finish those challenges before it's gone. Though it may evolve once the Fort Nightmares update hits, that remains to be seen. With the arrival of this LTM comes a brand new Iron Man skin, since the original Iron Man skin was actually tied to the Chapter 2 Nexus War Battle Pass. And while this bundle is about the price you'd expect, it is for some reason missing a key feature. This Iron Man skin does not have the ability to use the old Iron Man glider. And that's unfortunate because the old Iron Man glider was actually pretty novel for the time it released. This was also true for the new Doctor Doom skin, though Epic Games fixed that in this update and I expect them to fix it for the new Iron Man skin as well in the future. Use code SIREHEART in the Fortnite item shop if you do buy that Iron Man skin, by the way. And a skin isn't the only thing we have from Iron Man. We now have Iron Man's gliders in the regular Battle Royale mode. Absolutely goofy for movement, taking you even further than a full supercharge of Shuri's Black Panther gauntlets. Literally half the freaking map. Though be careful while you're in the air because you are very vulnerable to gunfire. These are reminiscent of the Icarus wings from only a few seasons ago. It remains to be seen if the old Unabeam will make an appearance in the Battle Royale mode, but I suspect that that's a bit too broken even for Epic Games standards. However, the Stark Industry Rifle has also returned, and this fits in pretty neatly next to the Sovereign Shotgun and the Monarch Pistol, since their gimmicks are essentially the same, where when you aim down the sight, you fire a slower but harder hitting round, and when you fire from the hip, you do a sort of rapid fire thing. I haven't been able to take this to a mod bench yet, so comment down below if this thing can take mods. We have some free cosmetic rewards that have just been released, and these are community driven. So first you'll have to go sign in at Fortnite's official website, and then you'll have to wait for certain thresholds to be reached by the community. And you don't have to actively participate in these challenges in any way to receive these rewards. And I expect with how much traffic these updates are driving that these rewards will be completed rather quickly. However, I don't know if you can get these rewards after the challenges have been completed, so I would sign up as soon as you can. We also have the 7th birthday event coming up. Jesus Christ, is Fortnite actually 7 years old already? My god. Of course there is going to be some free cosmetics for this, most likely some sort of back bling or pickaxe. And there's also a new ranked skin and pickaxe combo that you get simply for getting account levels. There is a large amount of free cosmetics in Fortnite right now. And I should also remind you guys that the Katarina skin is still available simply for gaining XP on a mobile device, though this will go away once the season ends, so be sure to grab that if you haven't already. And a quick mention of an interesting skin leaked in the October Fortnite crew. This is apparently a titan from Greek mythology who is said to be humanity's doom. And combined with Doom's current plan to summon Mephisto and gain unholy power, we are seeing the first hints of the live event that will end Fortnite Chapter 5 and bring us into the OG Chapter 2 and then eventually Fortnite Chapter 6. Something outside of Battle Royale but still major is the return of a true Fortnite icon. I'm talking about Clombo, ladies and gentlemen. But he hasn't returned to the regular Battle Royale mode. Instead, he is part of the Lost Isles LEGO Fortnite event. And this event also comes with its own battle pass, featuring a tribal-themed Peely. And the last time that LEGO Fortnite did this was a Star Wars crossover. And that actually had a special set of missions, as well as its own special island for these missions. So I'll definitely be trying this out in a future stream. I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss that because sometimes the Lego stuff runs so long I don't actually turn it into videos and you gotta catch it live while it's happening. Personally, I think this is a huge win for LEGO Fortnite since the major problem with that mode is the lack of content and anytime they add more stuff to that mode, 
I celebrate it. And a nice little cherry on top of this huge update, true first person has been added to the Fortnite creative tools. That means that very soon, the most popular modes such as red versus blue, box fights, and horror maps will all be playable in a first person perspective. Now some devs had managed to emulate this experience before, but it was very janky and it would often break the map and crash you out of the game. So this is great to see this become a core feature of the UEFN tools since it will enhance the depth of many of these game modes. I can't wait to see boss battle maps, horror maps, and even tycoon maps. So I can finally look at my skibbity Mike Schakowsky meme tycoon pet in first person view. And that is not an exaggeration at all. That is actually a real map. But anyway, that's it for this update. Be sure to like, subscribe, catch me live, and use code SOURD in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. I'm completely independent. I am just on the verge of making some money with this YouTube and with my creator code. And all I need is your support.